Hello and welcome to the Fight Town podcast with myself, Alex LaBox and Rob Boxing Shrew. Now, this week, Fight Town podcast listeners, we are joined by Harvey Dykes, the heavyweight boxer with a glorified amateur background. Harvey Dykes, welcome to Fight Town podcast. How are you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm all good. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. Nice one, Harvey. Cheers, mate. Yeah, absolute pleasure to have you on, Harvey. And it's your first step into the pro ranks from the amateurs. You excited about that for your first fight? Oh, cannot wait. Cannot wait. It's been a long time coming. It's actually a year on the uh, day that I won the ABAs. That's mad. That's yeah. mad. Um, I mean, yeah, like I say, it's been a long time coming. Um, how did the, uh, obviously, you're the newest acquisition for, for Nielsen. So how did that link up come about? Uh, came through my manager, Ronnie Davis. He knows yeah. uh, Liam Laffrey quite well. Yeah. And yeah, come through. Uh, I think Nelson offered the best deal or something. Yeah, and and I I, sus- I suspect Harvey, you know, you just stick to the boxing, and and Ronnie sort of uh, takes care of that background business, which is the best way to be, really, isn't it? But yeah, um, that's it. Takes care of it all, the just, opponents, everything. Yeah, and just on the back of that, obviously, Nelson boxing. Um, over the last year or so, been sort of bringing along young fighters very well. They've also been del- delivering this year. If we've seen title fights for boxers. Seeing that from from a promoter, does that give you sort of confidence with them that they're going to deliver for you, Harvey? Yeah, I've heard I've heard nothing but good things to be honest. Uh, yeah, I've only met the guy once, uh, and that was last month. But I've heard good things, and uh, people speak highly of him. And I think you two know that yourself. You don't really hear that now. Yeah, no. good promoters, not just a good promoter, but a good team behind him as well. Yeah, his son, uh, and there's the other guy as well. Got yeah, Jared. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah, and um, and um, Harvey, it's uh, the show's on the twenty second of April at Lee Valley. I know you're keen to to get going, but it's it's a good card as well. They have got some good boxers on the show. Neil, some boxing, uh, the likes of Johnny Ward, Louis yeah. Horn, Devon Miller. It's, is it exciting to get uh, amongst those sort of boxers as well and get on those cards? Yeah, uh, Ronnie actually managed Johnny Ward a couple of years ago. Oh, no did way. he really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, no, he did. Uh, he speaks very highly of Johnny Ward. Uh, of actually seen a video of Johnny Ward Spar he's very good. Yeah. Oh well. Wow. Yeah, we, we like um we like the other side of it with him as well. He talks a good game, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, you see, yeah, no, he's confident, that's good. <laughs> yeah, but he backs it up. And I've yeah. heard good things of sparring with uh when he's been sparring, I've heard some good stories from yeah. Ronnie and stuff. Brilliant. Yeah, um you you mentioned there about obviously it's been twelve months or so um since the, the ABAs um you joined a, an illustrious list, let's be honest. Um, yeah. I'll rattle off a few of the names here. Previous winners, Anthony Joshua times two, Joe Joyce times two, Fraser Clark, Solomon Dakers, um, Delicious Ori and Harvey Dykes yeah, um, on the list as well. I mean, that is a rich history, mate, and some footsteps to follow, but what an honour. Yeah, definitely, mate. I got uh, got to the final the year before and I've just lost. I was gutted and I thought, I can't, I've got to go back and win it before I go pro. Who, who beat you in the final, Harvey? Uh, Ike Ogbo. Okay, okay. We've had Collision three... course in the pros? Uh, he, he's on GB. I've, I've, got, I've got the rematch in uh, the uh, quarterfinals of the one that I won and uh, I beat him in that. Good lads, good lads. So I've got the revenge. <laughs> but he's, <laughs> he's a very good boxer, Ogbo. Yeah. And, and, and Harvey, um, as we know, obviously you've got a, a, a great amateur background. I know you've said already you're looking forward to your pro debut, but getting into those pro uh, boxing rings, it's, it's a different kettle of fish. Do you, do you see yourself just doing what you do and what you know, or has Ronnie Davis and Bill Davis sort of uh, taken new tactics, or is it a oh, case of just get, get, getting in there and doing what you know to do? Well, we've just been sparring, actually. We've just been up Johnny Edwards, Jim in Guildford. He's got some good pros up there. And... Uh... Yeah, we've been working on a different style. I come forward and put combinations together because a lot of the amateurs, it's fast pace and just quick single shots. But now we're we're settling down on the shots, and uh, yeah, I think you're going to see a different Dykes, uh, Dykes machine as well. That's that, that, that's that's really interesting, Harvey. Actually, because um, and it's took uh, me a while to be honest with you. It, it's been like I've been trying to learn it for weeks and weeks, and it's only this last few sessions that he's like. Because it's Click. probably getting close to the fight. It's just all of a sudden clicked. You know, they've been drilling it. And I've just been thinking, just let me know what I do, how I know to win. And they're like, yeah, but that won't work in the pros. And I've just for weeks, I've been not arguing back, but you know where you're just like, and then it's today, like last week, it's just clicked. Yeah. 
Are you, are you um are you nervous, excited, bit of both? No, no, I don't get nervous, I get excited by it. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to get in there. I love it. Brilliant. I, know, I think I'd probably know the answer to this question with you settling into the pros. But um, do you see yourself long term as a cruiserweight, heavyweight, um, or are you gonna sort of suck it and see and, and see how it goes? Yeah, see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I, it's it's weird. I kind of spar cruiserweights and struggle a little bit more, and I spar heavyweights and I look a lot better. So mm. we're just gonna see how it goes. We're gonna have a few fights and see what where to go. You know, see what's there and what's here. Hey, yeah, make our decision then. And 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 that's the thing, Harvey, as well. You mentioned that you mentioned that, um, and it's a real great insight for Fight Town podcast listeners that you know you have been training in a different style, getting ready for the pros, and it just Completely shows different. you, yeah, and it just shows you, you know, these first fights you're coming into and you know maybe even your first 10 fights it's all about getting used to the pro ranks and that yep. and you know and learning what sort of weight you're going to fight at so yeah. it's, it's it's a real it's a real learning curve isn't it every fight really and I, I suspect there's always that pressure that we put on you know we look at Anthony Joshua last week you know he didn't score yeah. a knockout and you know on boxers I think you know there's a lot of unnecessary pressure because you know, as we know with boxing, it's such a competitive sport. And as you know, in the amateurs and, you know, it's just a case, especially for a boxer like yourself coming into the pro ranks, it's just getting those rounds in and learning the craft, isn't it? And there's Absolutely. there's no better place to do that than, than with a promotional company like Nielsen Boxing, who are going to give you all the support yeah, well, and, and, yeah. and give you those stages, you know? That's it, definitely. He's offered me a very good, like, I can't remember how many fights are in the contract, but, you know, it's a good... It's a good deal. And it's yeah. going to keep me busy. And that's what I need because I've been too inactive. Uh, yeah, too inactive. and waiting yeah. around for things and it ain't happened. So, yeah, we're looking forward to being busy and showing what I can do. How many times do you reckon you'll be out this year, ideally? Uh, I've got four fights hope, that yeah. I've lined up. So, yeah. yeah. Any news on an opponent? Uh, no, not just yet. Like I said, I don't, it could be, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, okay, I'll leave that to Ronnie and uh, Nilsson. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't bother getting involved. I think, you know, promoters and managers get annoyed when fighters get involved. I'm just there to do my job, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not too bothered who it is, really. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Obviously, you want to learn, but anyone, really. Yeah, Give me a few absolutely. fights and then chuck me in and then you'll see how I swim. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic, Harvey. Now, listen, Fight Town podcast listeners harvey dykes is fighting at lee valley which is edmonton on the 22nd of april tickets are still available but next up on the podcast we are speaking to devon miller who is also fighting on the show it leaves us to say harvey we will see you on the night but good luck and uh good luck with your career um starting out with nelson boxing thank you lads thanks for having me on no thank worries you, good luck boxes. harvey Right Fight Town podcast listeners, that was Harvey Dykes, who is fighting on the 22nd of April with Nilsson Boxing. But also on that card is Devon Miller. Devon Miller back out on the Nilsson Boxing card. Uh, Devon, welcome to the Fight Town podcast. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Absolutely great, mate. It's uh, it's absolutely it's fantastic having you back on. I know we had you on the podcast probably over a year ago. 2022 was a tough year for Devon Miller. What happened last year in terms of boxing? Uh, I don't know, mate. It's, it's just up and down. Um, a couple fights fell through. Um, then uh, I got offered a couple fights, um, accepted them, and then like shows got cancelled. So, yeah, it was just all, all over, really. But I ended up having two fights still. So, yeah, hopefully 2023 yeah. brings a better year. Yeah, definitely. Um, it must have uh, must have felt great in your last fight as well to to get your debut off off your back a little bit and, um, uh, you know, get um, get the W under your belt and, and crack on. Yep, yep. It was all right. Um, it was just a long time again waiting for another fight, though. But, yeah, it was a bit of an anticlimax because yeah. I expected it to go a little bit further, a little bit longer. Yeah, ideally, how um, how many fights would you like to get under your belt this year? Uh, five. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I think it's possible. 
Um, Devon, do you think that obviously last year I can tell, obviously, uh, we follow you on Instagram. It, it was a frustrating year, 2022. You know, like you said, you had fights lined up. Uh, they got cancelled, show, shows cancelled. It sort of threw you off your sort of momentum, really. So from what you're saying, you know, momentum's key to get you get the best out of you. And you're fighting at cruiserweight now. Do you think that's going to give you like the best the best foot forward? I've always been fighting at cruiserweight. It's just been the fact that there's not many cruiserweights in the UK who accept fights. So um, I've accepted a couple of heavyweight fights. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, this didn't happen. But yeah. I, I'm always fighting at cruiserweight at the moment. Yeah, Cru- cruiserweight's a funny one because the British um, scene is actually very good at cruiserweight, but it's very top-heavy, isn't it? Yeah. So it's like they ain't going to fight a random person who's just starting off because there's nothing on the table for them. Yeah. But then... It's like the other prospects don't really want to mix it up until there is something in there for them. So I, I understand it, but it's just it's it's hard to get get going, really. Yeah, yeah, and and you mentioned there, Devon. I, I apologise, but I, I I thought um I thought you had campaigned at heavyweight, but it was just a case of getting a fight in. You just took it at heavyweight, just to sort of get, you know just to try and get get in the ropes, basically. I think it was both my fights. Um, we didn't weigh in on championship weight, so. Um, both of them were technically heavyweight fights because it was just over the cruiserweight limits, but they're cruiserweight fights. If that okay, makes sense. got yeah. you, yeah. And um, you know, let's just talk about your last fight, Ryan Leborn. It was quick. You got in there, you done the job. It must have been satisfying um, after that first fight to get in there and show what you're made of and show what you can do and how you can impact this division. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I haven't really shown anything yet, so I'm, I'm looking to show a lot more on the twenty second, hopefully. And then going forward after that. Brilliant. Um, any news on an uh, on an opponent yet, Devon? Um, yeah, we've we've got an opponent. I'll keep it to myself for now. Okay, okay. I don't want any any issues to happen. <laughs> so, keep an eye yeah. on the socials for updates. Yeah. Yeah, I probably won't even mention it into the into the day. I've I've told everyone it's a fifty fifty. Um, on paper, that's smuggle about him it. in that's for about, the first bell. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I wanted, I wanted just, to turn just up. We're, oh, go on. Sorry, do we want to go on? I wanted to turn up, so I don't want to. I don't want to scare him away. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. Um, just while we're on the, the cruiserweights, um, slightly separate. Um, obviously, there's been a big fight announced. Um, between Lawrence Acoli and Chris Billum Smith. Um, at the end of May, what are your thoughts on that fight? And who, who have you got? Um, it's a very interesting fight. Um. It should be fun. I feel like Cody will get up for this one. Um, he was a bit flat the other day. Yeah. But 30 months out, apparently had injury in camp, so on and so forth. A big cut in weight, but I think he'll put on a better performance this fight. But going on current form, I would have to say it's a more 60-40 to Chris Billum. Wow. But overall, on um, stylistically, I would say... Like previous to watching McColey's last fight, I would have said it's sixty forty to uh, McColey. So yeah, yeah I'm, at the at the current stage, I'm, I'm siding with Chris Ben and Smith because of current current form in in his own backyard as well. Yeah, that's gonna that probably will bring him on as well. Yeah. I, I think in in the last po- uh, podcast, uh, Devon, I think uh, me and Rob both sided for a Coley. So uh, there we go. It, I, 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 <laughs> but what do we know? <laughs> uh, yeah, what do we know? But I, I, I think it shows what sort of fight that is, you know, like like you said, you know, uh, Bill and Smith brings in the momentum, but we know that uh, a Coley, you know, he's at the top of that division for a reason because of his, you know, he puts on, he does what he does in that boxing ring, whether or not people mm-hmm. like it or, you know, he's awkward it's style. Effective. But it's effective, exactly. Um, now, Devon, um, the Nilsson Boxing Show on the 22nd is at Lee Valley. A bit of a good omen for you. That's where your last uh, victory was. What's, what's it like fighting at Lee Valley? Is it a good uh, good arena? Well, yeah, it's a decent um, decent arena. I like, I like it. It's quite spacious as well. So you can get a lot of people in. Um, it's a bit out of my way, but it's, it's still close enough. It's, um, yeah. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. Oh. It's not quite as close as York Hall, but uh, yeah. it will do. <laughs> it'll have, you're gonna have to do. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have to do. And um, uh, on the, the card on the night, we've spoken about with Harvey Dykes. This, um, you know, we've got boxers like Harvey Dykes fighting on the night. Johnny Ward, Louis Horn, uh, John Brennan's uh, making an appearance as well. Um, do you know those guys? Um, and it's looking like a good card, isn't it? Yeah, it's looking like a decent prospect card. 
Um, I think there's a few other people being added on to there as yes. well. Um, so yeah, it should, it should be a really packed, packed out arena and um, a good night of boxing. Brilliant. Um, Devon, I was, I was hoping to ask you, I've, I've seen a lot on the socials and um, as soon as we knew you were coming on, I was um, dying to ask you about um, your link up with the uh, the Bronx gym. Um, now, obviously for those who aren't aware, it's um, heavily involved with um, uh, Marnie, who won uh, The Apprentice on BBC recently as well. And um, I believe um, you train and, and coach there. Yep. Um, just started training and coaching out of there. It's been open six weeks. Um, yep. Yeah, it's a very good setup, very good gym. Based in Camberwell, South London. Um, yeah, if you haven't been there, get down. But it's it's good. It's, yeah, it's, what are the facilities like? Um, everything's brand new, so it's, yeah, it's got it's got the nice feeling of uh, real boxing kind of grit, but in a fresh, nice way. And then obviously, it's got like uh, not your typical. Um, Gym bathroom, it's a bit and sawdust. So it's very <laughs> you go in, you go to the bathrooms. Um, <laughs> got a nice sixteen foot ring, and it's a uh, yeah, it, it's 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 nice. You'd have to go down there to get the get the proper feeling. Yeah. There we go, Fight Town podcast listeners. It's just been sold by Devon um, Miller. I can safely say that the boxing gyms I ref- uh, frequented as a teenager uh, <laughs> were absolutely awful uh, <laughs> but uh, there we go uh, it was a lot of fun i promise you but uh, devon uh, listen uh, all i can say to you is uh, good luck on the 22nd of april i'm sure you don't need need it from us uh, but we will be seeing you on the night as well with nilson boxing and it, it promises to be a great show so fight town podcast listeners get yourself down there to see devon miller amongst others fighting on that prospect card thank you very much nice one thanks devon cheers Bye. devon Have a good one.